Cheers, everyone. It's Elizabeth of Girl Gone Raw. I thought I'd just share with you a little bit about my juicy January. I started a juice feast on the 1st of January, and today is day 16. So I have been enjoying fresh juices for 16 days, and it feels pretty amazing. So I thought I'd just share with you what motivated me, um, what I drink in a day, uh, how long I plan on continuing and maybe even some potty talk and how active I am throughout the day just to give you an idea. So what motivated me? Well, the end of November and all of December are by far my busiest days of the year. I'm an oil painter and I do a lot of commission work and I turn into a little elf in my studio and I paint the days away, which is so fun. I, I love it. It's such a gift to be able to share my work with so many people from all over the country. Um, so it's, it's really joyful. But during that time, I have to let so many other things go. Uh, exercise is one of the first things to go. Um, my regular diet routine. I still drink my smoothies, I still make delicious salads, but I'm also one for quickly grabbing some takeout, some cooked vegan food, or some salad bar stuff from a local store or restaurant. So mm -hmm. just just not my normal habits and uh, it kind of takes a toll on me. And in January, I just like to reset and recommit and let my body clean itself and feel as vibrant as it possibly can. And I think juicing really, really allows it to do that. So it's such a, it's such a great way to begin a new year. So here I am in juicy January, day 16. Mm. And uh, I'm feeling really, really good. Um, I, I just love my juice. I have been listening closely to my body and I'm not sure when I'm going to wrap up my juice feast, but I have had feelings of hunger that make me want to eat something. So I'm thinking that um, could be in the next few days or it could be a week from now. I'll just play it by ear and go one day at a time. But um, that's kind of kind of where I am on my journey. It's been fairly easy for me. I have done many juice feasts over the past five or six years, and it's really a mind over matter thing for me. If I mentally prepare myself for a juice feast, I kind of just go into it, and that's what I do, and there's no real resistance or struggle, which is pretty cool. Um, so I find that just mentally preparing yourself is the biggest thing. And then, of course, I'm in a cold climate, so keeping warm is another really challenging thing. I've almost always got a scarf on. I often wear hats inside. I drink a lot of herbal tea. I enjoy a cup of miso probably every day with some hot water. Uh, it's really important for me to keep my core warm. Otherwise, I don't sleep well and all that stuff. So... Keeping warm is a challenge, but there's so many tricks to do it. Turn your heat up, bundle up, get under blankets. Um, and as far as my activity level goes, I am still very active. I do yoga mm, three to four times a week, and I've also added two spin classes to my week uh, exercise routine because I am training for the trek across Maine, which is a 180-mile bike ride over three days. In June I have no experience uh, riding a bike for any length of, of time or distance so this will be uh, a challenge for me one of my one of my words for the new year is adventure and fitness so uh, it certainly ties into the trek for me so yeah I've been doing spinning and lots of yoga and I've felt really great during my workouts uh, yoga class I feel lighter sometimes I'm not quite as balanced as I am when I'm eating food but that's okay I just wobble a little bit um what else can I share with you I wanted to tell you a little bit about what a day of juice looks like for me so I've got um I'm almost through this quart but this is a quart of juice 
and I generally drink three to four of these a day. Um, I start every morning with some water, followed by, um, I like a fruit juice to start. I really need some fruit sugar to give me a, a kick. So I generally start with a an orange grapefruit ginger juice, and sometimes I modify that and uh, do turmeric in my juice instead, or put apples instead of grapefruit, something like that. But I love a good fruit juice. And I drink about 16 ounces to start. And then I kind of ease on into my day, enjoy some herbal tea, um, drink another quart of juice. I pretty much drink juice when I feel hungry, when I feel the need to uh, to satisfy my, my body. So I'm pretty much always sipping some juice. Uh, in the evening, I like to make a savory juice, which is often tomato-based. I'll do tomato, cucumber, carrots, red pepper, basil, parsley, uh, a little onion or garlic, and I'll throw in a dash of cayenne pepper and a pinch of salt even. And uh, if it's really cold, which last week it was bitter cold here, we had sub-zero temperatures, I actually warmed my juice on the stovetop a couple of times just until it was warm, not hot, but warm. Uh, so that that's kind of what a day of juice looks for, like for me. So I do at least um, 16 ounces of fruit juice. The rest are usually green juices. Uh, I'm a big fan of pineapple, so I often have pineapple included in my green juices. One of my favorites is pineapple, arugula, arugula lime, cucumber. Yum. So good. So good. Yeah, so that's kind of what a day of juice looks like for me. And then as far as potty talk, so juices have no fiber in them. So with no fiber, we don't have stuff pushing through our colons to keep our bowels moving. So the first week of my juice feast, I did daily saltwater flushes, which is drinking first thing in the morning, right when you get up, uh, a quart of warm water with two teaspoons of sea salt in it, not table salt, sea salt. Um, so you mix that in and you drink it, and the trick is to drink it within five minutes, and that will flush you out. And for me, uh, sometimes it took an hour to an hour and a half for that to kind of push things through, and um, the longer I'm into my fast, the shorter time it takes, but initially it took an hour to two hours before anything moved. <clears throat> So that's kind of my uh, my journey with my juice feast. I've started January with a juice feast for the last four or five years, and it's been a really, really great way to start a new year and just give your body a fresh start. And if you've never experienced a juice feast, I, I strongly encourage you to do so. Start with um, even a one day. One to five days is a great, great way to start. And I think you'll reap the benefits. You'll feel lighter, brighter, more vibrant. So, yeah, that's kind of my story. If anybody has any questions for me, I'm happy to chat via Facebook or in the comments below. And you can visit my website, girlgonraw.com. And I wish you all a very, very, very juicy 2015. Cheers.